Hello, I'm Andrew Mazur, founder of Small Business University and the author of the Business Owner's Guide to Marketing Online. And I just created this new report called The Groupon Solution, Marketing Secrets Groupon Doesn't Want You to Know. And I'll tell you more about these two publications in a minute. But first, I want to talk to you about a, an email that I got the other day from a company called Manta, who, like me, also shares small business marketing advice. And this particular email was really good, and I want to share it with you. There's two aspects of this email that intrigued me. One is the subject. The subject is, and the subject line of the email is how to create the perfect Facebook post. How to create the perfect Facebook post. Now, don't you just have to open that email? You know, we get a lot of emails and we sift, sort, and sift, sort, and screen those subject lines because we can't open every email and read every email. So if it doesn't catch our attention, bang, delete it. This one I had to open. You know, I'm not the, uh, the biggest uh, Facebook guy in the world, but I also want to know what they have to say about how to create the perfect Facebook post. And so do most business owners. So that's a lesson right there. If you're going to send an email, it's worth it to spend some time and think about the subject line. Do you want people to open your email? The average email open rate is between about 24 and 35%, I would say. And uh, I bet you that email had upwards of 70% open rate. That's, that's a good subject line. Anyway, I opened it and the content of the email is pretty good too. I uh, usually, I'm in the business of marketing. I, I'm in the business of helping small business owners market their business online. So I do read their emails. I want to see what they're talking about. And this particular one is shareworthy. They're not all shareworthy. I think sometimes they force it a little bit too much. They put out content like every day. So it's hard to make really good content every single day. That's why I don't even try to make uh, content every single day. It's just not realistic to, to put out good value. Anyway, I'll tell you about this one. Uh, their uh, first suggestion for creating the perfect Facebook post is keep it short and sweet. Okay. Now that's not bad advice. I would add that you need to have enough information to get people to want to click on a link on your post to get them to go to your website. Okay. So social media should not just stand alone as a social media post. Your social media post should connect a dot between the, the, the post and your website. Your website can deliver much more information. So it should be compelling enough to get them to click over to your website to learn more about the topic of this specific post. Now that topic may be uh, in an effort to educate your customer further on a particular subject or to get them to take advantage of an offer. Let's say you have a, a coupon, you wanna give them an offer, an opportunity to buy something or to uh, grab a discount um, or opt in to get a free report, something of that nature, okay? This is also called a call to action. And that happens to be uh, the number two thing that Manta suggests is a call to action. I say it's all part of the same idea. You wanna keep it short and sweet, but you want to make it compelling enough to get them to, to take some action and check something else out. Now, how do you do that? By creating a, an image. So this is another one that's important. 
the first thing people will see on a Facebook post is the image or photograph that you use on the post, right? So you want to have it, an eye grabbing and attention getting image. It doesn't have to be overwhelming. If you're in the restaurant business, uh, a plate of food is good enough or a person eating food or a person smiling with a glass of wine or a margarita, whatever the case may be, whatever is congruent with your restaurant or your business is probably good enough. Remember one thing, people sell products better than products sell themselves. So if a person demonstrating a product it is, uh, is a good idea, but uh, an image, a good image, because if you don't have an image at all, that's really not a very good post. Facebook won't even show that post to very many people. And so that is definitely off the table. A good image is really vital to a Facebook post. Now, Manta suggests that you tag someone on your social media post, or tag, you can tag a bunch of people. So who would you tag on a business, on a business uh, fan page post? Well, you would probably tag some customers that you already do business with, people that already follow your Facebook page, or maybe even some of your personal friends. And the reason you might want to do that is because maybe you know that they, certain people may be interested in this specific subject, or that those people may be, uh, there are maybe, you know, people who are friendly to your business, who would typically share your stuff for you, therefore getting it out to more people. So the tagging is, um, it's not a bad idea. A lot of people are using hashtags these days. Well, on Facebook, another thing about Facebook is when you, when you have content on Facebook, Facebook has become quite a strong search engine. So if somebody is searching the search bar for, let's say, blueberry pie in South Jersey or in a specific town or county, uh, then if you have that content, on a Facebook post, then your Facebook post can actually show in the search results when somebody is searching for something. So you should make Facebook posts uh, on the content, uh, around the content of the things you sell, whether it's a product or a service. You want to have a Facebook post for everything, just like I always suggest to have a, a web page for everything that you make, do, or sell in your business. You should also make that into a Facebook post. And then you'll be connecting the dots because you'll be able to, to use that page of your website as a post. You just use that as a link. And generally, a, a, if a photo, the image from that post or that uh, web page will actually populate right on the Facebook post. This is a very effective way of using Facebook and tying things together. So now you can repurpose that page you made on your website into a Facebook post. Now that's my, that's my suggestion. I think, as I said, Manta does a pretty good job here and there with some of their content, but they don't, they don't give it all to you. Uh, I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to, uh, while I have you on the line here, if you're doing Groupon, okay, switching gears here. If you're doing Groupon, if you've done Groupon, or if you're thinking about doing it, if you've done Groupon and failed, you may want you, you definitely want to get this report because this may give you some insights. The Groupon solution. This will give you insights on how to make Groupon or any of the deal marketing sites. There are a lot more copycat uh, deal sites out there now. If you try it again, use the techniques that I describe in this report, it could change everything for you, okay? Um, there will be a link for you to get this free report on uh, wherever you're consuming this report, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube or right on the Small Business You blog. Um, you got to try it. 
you've got to try the techniques that are in this and anybody can do it. This is not, there's nothing technical here. These are, uh, when you read it, when you read the Groupon solution, you will see that uh, there, you're leaving money on the table. Everybody, every business who is advertising on Groupon, I'd say 99% of all businesses marketing with deals are missing out on these, almost all these vital ideas that I share in, this, in the Groupon solution. And anyone who wants to grab a copy of the Business Owner's Guide to Marketing Online, I'll send you the ebook, the digital version of this free, and I'll give you a link to get this also, and I'll send you the hard copy for just what it costs me, whatever it costs to send in postage, about a buck and a half. Okay, so a couple of great resources there, and I uh, hope you take me up on my ideas for uh, the email ideas that I just gave you on social media. I said a mouthful, more than a mouthful on this video. Sorry for carrying it out so long. I appreciate you watching. I hope you get something out of this. I'm Andrew Mazur, and I'll see you next time.